Vanessa Kirby in Julie by Polly Stenham, directed by Carrie Cracknell at the National Theatre. Now, Polly Stenham said in an interview that she wanted her new play to show the dark heart of liberalism and to go for the jugular. So, did the audience leave the Littleton reeling with shock? If Polly Stenham wanted to shock the white liberal middle class National Theatre audience, she's going to have to try a lot harder. Julie, played brilliantly by Vanessa Kirby, is a privileged white woman in her 30s who's clearly been given everything she ever wanted except love. She's used to taking, uh, including taking from those she sees as possessions, her pets and her servants. Julie wants to use her father's chauffeur Jean for his body, but he has his own agenda, looking to use her as a step up society's ladder. A nicely judged performance for, by Eric Kofi Abrefa, by the way. But what's shocking? I suspect we know there's still a huge gap between the entitled rich and the exploited poor, despite the fact that we're all on first name terms. So we're left with a portrait of two self-centred, cold-hearted people for whom it's hard to feel any compassion. Tom Scott's wide open set has an appropriately bright, sterile feel. But Julie is worth seeing. In their portrayal of a privileged Western woman whose blinkered life of drugs, drink and sex is in a downward trajectory, Polly Stenham and Vanessa Kirby have created a monstrous, but at the same time pathetic, character that is actually shocking. I give Julie at the National Theatre three stars. Well, that's my one minute review, but keep watching for more of my thoughts on Julie at the National Theatre and also a roundup of what other critics thought. As I said earlier, I'm not sure how much of what Polly Stenham called the dark heart of liberalism was uh, exposed in this play. The help, powerfully played by Thalissa Taishira, thinks Julie is her friend, but gets a rude awakening. There's no real shock in the relationship between a powerful woman and her male servant, or between the rich who take and the poor who are taken from. There's a wild party going on in the background in the early part of the play that uh, uses the Littleton space well, but it's very tame as is the sexual coupling. Nothing to shock there then. Perhaps the dark heart of liberalism is that we don't really care about people. Certainly the audience seemed to find the uh, treatment of the pet bird, uh, which appears in Strindberg's original Miss Julie by the way, much more shocking than anything happens to the human beings. Maybe if the play had uh, been longer, I mean it's less than an hour and a half, uh, we might have uh, found out more about these people and therefore maybe felt more. Or maybe just needed more development in a smaller space. Even so, Vanessa Kirby does a great job. She's able to behave like a wild child while still showing the brittleness underneath. And when Julie starts to realise that she's not as in control of the people around her as she thought and that her actions have consequences, her collapse is powerful. So what did other critics think? There was a mixed response, to say the least. Among a number of two-star reviews, the Evening Standard said, there's an impulse to provoke, but no real sense of danger. And The Guardian said, it doesn't make sense. Others gave it three stars, but didn't like the update. Uh, the Telegraph said, the vital sense of societal transgression piling on top of psychological flaws is lacking. The dramatic stakes are lowered, said The Independent. The play struggles to make the class transgression feel dangerous, said Broadway World. On the other hand, there were some four-star reviews. What's on stage called it a sleek, satirical update, and the stage said it was brilliant. All eyes were on Vanessa Kirby in the title role. Radio Times said she gave a virtuoso performance. The Guardian praised her genuine pathos. Kirby excels, said The Independent. And The Observer's three-star review said, As a brave and peculiar character study, this is extraordinary. Both witty and vicious, Vanessa Kirby's Julie is panic and scorn. If you love theatre and want to know the latest news, please listen to my podcast, Theatre News Weekly. And if you've liked this review, please subscribe to One Minute Theatre Reviews on YouTube by clicking the link in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen.